The baffle is the section that is located directly behind the tip rail and determines the brightness or darkness of the mouthpiece as well as influencing a sizzle or a buzz. The body is found in the middle part of the mouthpiece, usually where the ligature is. The beat can be found in the front outer portion of the mouthpiece where the player's mouth fits while he or she is playing, and it extends from the tip to the body. The bore is located in the rear inner part of the mouthpiece that adheres to the saxophone's cork. The break point refers to the point where the reed first separates from the flat surface of the table marking the beginning of the facing curve. The chamber is the open space in the middle of the mouthpiece, situated between the floor and the bore. A larger chamber produces a rich and wide sound, while a smaller chamber results in a more focused sound. The chamfer is the angled edge on the side rails surrounding the entire window of the mouthpiece. The facing curve is the continuous curve starting at the break point and ending at the tip rail. It can be observed when looking at the mouthpiece from the side. The facing curve varies among mouthpiece brands and significantly impacts the mouthpiece's response. It is crucial for the facing curve on both side rails to be parallel. The floor is the inner section of the mouthpiece and is located behind the baffle and can be found inside the chamber. The height of this section determines the mouthpiece overall projection. A higher floor sometimes referred to as the baffle will give the player a bright projecting sound, while a lower floor usually will result in a darker tone. The frontal rail is the tip of the mouthpiece that extends furthest into the player's mouth while playing. The inner side walls are inside the mouthpiece, running from the floor up to the side rails. They can be concave in shape like an auto link or flat like older Brillhart piece where the chamber transitions to the bore. Sometimes the throat can be round or square in shape the tip opening. This is the distance between the reed and the front rail. Usually a large tip opening will require more air while a smaller tip opening requires somewhat less air. The tip rail can be found at the very tip of the mouthpiece. It is the point where the front of the reed seals and vibrates against the mouthpiece. The thickness of the tip rail influences the mouthpiece's response. If it is too thin, the mouthpiece may produce a squeaking sound. And if it is too thick, the mouthpiece may sound weak or dull. The window this you can find is the open area of the mouthpiece and is situated between the tip rail and the table, bounded by the two side rails.